So our, our goal was to bring the culture to the community. So we got as many of the educators from the tribe that were willing to participate. And our goal was to have the children teaching children so that they could be with their peers and teaching them on their level. So that's what happened here. We got as many of the, uh, from high school ages on down to grade school, young kids teaching them how to do clay bees, uh, corn husk dolls, uh, stick ball, which is a, a game that a lot of kids seem to enjoy this evening on the other side. Um, another game called hubbub, which is um, their wampum uh, pieces, and they, they have to try to get all the same colors up. And so anyway, that was um, the games that they played, but, and there were all kids teaching the game. So that was our goal, and I think we achieved that today. <laughs> and don't forget the food. And the food. And the and taste, the food. And taste yes. of the culture. The taste yeah. of culture, yes. Um, so Sonny Avant um, had, did this last year as well, but she had a little taste of uh, corn chowder, strawberry shortcake, cornbread, and strawberry moon tea, which was free to anybody who wanted to partake. Also, Kitty did boiled strawberry bread, which was very tasty, um, traditional foods. So today we shared um, how to prepare boiled bread. It's an old way of preparing um, uh, corn, nuts, fresh fruit. I use strawberries today just because they're easy. They're easy, and kids love to slice them and chop them. Um, and it's all about them interacting. It's all about them preparing it as much as possible on their own. Um, and they're gonna they grind the, all of the nuts and they combine them together and made little patties. And it's called boiled bread. And you can use whatever fruit you, that's in season. Um, you can use dried fruit throughout the winter. You can make it savory by making nice cranberry bread and throwing it in your turkey soup. So there's all kinds of variations for boiled bread. Um, so this is just one variation and the kids had really a lot of fun cooking and serving and eating the boiled bread. Oh my goodness, there is a secret behind the fire. Um, dry the, the drier the wood, the better, right? The seasoned wood, of course. Um, and just don't let it smolder, you know, pay attention. You're, when you're cooking, that's part of the tool that you're using. So you want to make sure that you're on it. Um, respect the fire, right? You cook different temperatures, so you have control of all, of all of that. So it's definitely a little bit of a knack to it. Um, hopefully it's not a windy day. Roasting is a whole nother story, so boiling is a lot easier than roasting a duck or a goose or a turkey, or a fish for that matter. Hey, 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 hey,